Hey guys, <clears throat> I just want to talk about real quick the importance of today's read um, regarding the numbers, okay? So today is, um, it is June 17th, which is an 8, okay? And if you add up all those dates to, um, I believe is another 8, so hold on, let me just make sure. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, which is an 8, okay? So especially if you've been seeing 88s, and 88s have been sticking with me for months. And it didn't really occur to me until today when I, you know, when I labeled this video the most important read of the year because it really truly is for me too. It, it, it's so bittersweet wrapping up this, this cycle, okay? Um, but with such importance okay because it's like the 88 it's associated with material abundance prosperity wealth i'll read something see real quick okay it's on the cusp of um prosperity spiritual life and today is that that eight okay and it talks about cycles and it was it was just now i understand why today out of all days i, I did it and for me the 88 that I've been seeing for months has now changed for me. Today is a brand new day of my life, finally completing this cycle, guys. You know, so it's associated with the vibration of a financial future, too. It's the material abundance, the prosperity, the wealth. It's the, it's the abundance all the way around. It's outcomes. It's what you attract in your life. It's, it's things that you're going to manifest that will give you that prosperity you're searching for, okay? Um, <laughs> it's the spiritual wealth. It's, it's way more than money. You know, and, and that's a whole other thing. Your financials will even get better. Even if there's lack of right now, when you have such change in your reading, because it boiled down to a five, right? But the it was it talked about the the foundation the most. Having a new stat gave you the four of wands. And I think the reading itself was came down to four. I have to double check. But um, it hasn't been done processing. Your life will change in every single aspect. All right, it, I, I'm not I'm not kidding with you. I need you guys to be fully aware of this. Um, the double eights, it's to it, it's vibrating, okay? And that when it vibrates like that, it talks about career, your career being success, your your personal achievements, what you want in life, okay? It's a cycle. It, the eights also talks about a cycle. It also talks about how the eight comes into your life to, to find new opportunities and to be successful and to achieve, okay? So that way your life can be abundant materially and financially and spiritually. It's, it's all of it, right? But you're also in that cycle of the majority of people are going to repeat it, all right? And hopefully, you're not one of them. And if you are, it's, it's okay. You will realize this eventually, I promise you. It took me a long time to come to these conclusions, okay? So, it talks about reaching your full potential, guys, all right? Um, and it, that also, the 8 and 8, 16, it, is, it breaks down to 7, and, and that's the most important message here that this seven talks about your path, your life path, how you got there. You want the happiness? It, it's here, guys. Okay? It's, it's you taking that step. All right? Um, and, and, and seven is a beautiful number. It's, it's a lucky number. It's an abundant number. It, it's, it's all about, you know, your, your, your focus, your prosperity. Um, what you want, okay? You just need to focus upon it and take that leap of faith. Um, that read was was major, all right? When it talks about personal, professional life um, transformations, it's just a beautiful um, sequence, okay? So I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, because we've been talking about it, and again, I'm going to come back and, and talk about it, but you know, like I said, for those who didn't see the other reads, just real brief, when I was explaining to you about the lovers, you know, at the end of the day, will you choose the one that you truly, truly love, which makes sense, right? But in the end, will you choose someone who truly loves you? 
And if that's the case, you got to give up the one you truly love because it's unconditional to you. So it's true and it's pure. But you're not, some of you are not seeing that. It's not into fruition. This person's not even telling you how they feel. They're being arrogant. It is, it is material for them, right? So of course they're going to come back. But at least if you're aware of it, when, because those are the ones that are going to have to repeat the cycle, right? By then, <laughs> you've learned this lesson. You, you're going to know how to, you're going to know how to handle that. So don't worry about it. Um, right now, it, it's, it's you. It, it's your choice on what you're going to settle for, you know. Um, to me, I, I look at it, unfortunately, is, is settling as second best when when you choose that, even though you feel like it's, it's true and pure, because it is. But this journey was all about finding us, our happiness. And it, it was a hard, hard lesson to have to let go of that one you've been holding on to. That whole time, you know, at some point we all thought it was coming back, and, and it will. But the point was for us to learn this lesson now, when it when it's not back, when you choose you want better, when you choose self-love, when you choose your own dreams, right? Because that's what the lesson was. And it's hard because we all think they're coming back, but the true lesson is when they come back. That's, that's the true lesson. Because some of you will go through this for a couple months and they'll try to come right back and you didn't go through a long enough cycle. You know, you, you need a good seven to eight months on your own without this person even coming back into your life to truly get to where you need to be. So we're going to talk about that this week. I don't want to get into it too, too much. I just wanted you to be aware of the importance of today with the eight because it is the cycle, guys. Full moon energy, too. You can't avoid this change. You accept it. You accept you. You didn't lose at the end of this because they didn't come back, guys. You didn't lose. You won. Today is a new day of your life. Your life starts again today if you choose you. Go back and watch my, my readings, especially my yesterday, the Sunday vibes. Um, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday and today. Mind, body, and spirit, guys. The last, the last of my, my three reads. The importance in those. I cannot stress enough of what we've learned, what we've taken from this. It will explain everything to you to the point where you're going to understand and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But today can be a brand new life for you. Just like that. If you accept this change. Brand new life. It's going to have its ups and downs until you get there. But it's a brand new you. Alright, it's, it's the fool. It's the fool that leads to the straight to the ten of cups, straight to the four of wands. That's your foundation. It's your mind, body, and spirit. You're truly going to be living in alignment with your purpose. For those who can't find their purpose, this is your purpose. You're now in it. You're about to find it. Have enough faith and belief and strengthen yourself to realize the situation that you were holding on to for so long. You need to look at this as you won because you truly, truly did. Okay? I love you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, look at I gotta go and click you off. I love you guys so much. Talk soon. Bye.